Hey everyone, Forrest here with Rocky Mountain School of Photography, and like it or not, fall is quickly approaching. So I figured I'd take this time to make a video on my top three editing techniques when it comes to editing images that were shot in and around the fall season. Let's go ahead and dive in. So my first tip and technique is to use white balance to your advantage. I find a lot of situations I'm shooting in the fall or end of summer, and those images don't have that same warmth and kind of yellowish orange color cast that I'm after, and even that I see with my eyes. And white balance can be a great technique to give us that falseness of warmth, adding a little bit of extra warmth. And I wouldn't even say falseness, I would say giving it the color that we saw with our eyes when we were there shooting the scene. So as an example here, I have an image that was taken toward the end of the summer. And what I wanna do here is go into the develop module in either Lightroom or Lightroom Classic. And I'm just gonna take the temperature slider up a little bit in the basic panel. And immediately we can see the huge difference that this has on the overall look and feel of the photo. I would call this technically a correct white balance, meaning that what looks white in the photo is white in real life. The difference is when I was there shooting, it looked a lot more like this to my eyes. It had that warm end of summer, beginning of fall look. And that is something that I really wanna to convey to my viewers when looking at this photograph. So don't underestimate the power of just maybe plus or minus a few thousand in your temperature slider. That really can help. Just a few thousand Kelvin up or down can really change the mood and the feeling of an image. Now I do have a pro tip here. Make sure that you're shooting raw to really unlock the abilities of the white balance sliders. If you're shooting JPEG still, you're gonna be much more limited with what white balance can do. But stay tuned to tip two and three because even on a JPEG photo, those are gonna work great as well. So that brings me to tip number two, and that is using the HSL panel to specifically affect the greens and yellows and oranges in the image to bring out, again, those fall colors that we're after. So for that, I'm gonna pop over to this image here, which again was shot toward the end of the summer as the trees were starting to turn colors. And what I wanna do here is give it more of that fall feeling. Now immediately I could use my white balance adjustment, but very quickly it's gonna kinda go into the world of falseness. It's not gonna look good anymore if I adjust just the white balance. So instead, I'm gonna go down to HSL and specifically I'm gonna focus on the hue of our oranges, our yellows, and our greens. Now HSL stands for hue, saturation, and luminance, and it's the three properties of color. Hue is what color is a color, meaning if we change the hue of green, we're actually changing greens into a different color. Hue is what a color is. Saturation is the intensity of that color, and luminance is the brightness of that color. So if you're thinking about it, if you wanna kind of convey the look of trees turning yellow or, or red, right, in the fall, we would basically wanna take the hue of the yellows and the hue of the greens and change them into the more yellow or orange colors. So here we can see, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab hue in my HSL section, and you can actually click hue a second time and that will show hue, saturation, and luminance all at once. I usually prefer to just keep one out at a time, but I'm gonna get my hue sliders and I'm gonna take the green hue and we'll notice one way is gonna make the greens greener, the other way is gonna push the greens more toward a yellow or an orange. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the yellows. So I'm gonna drag the yellows left and right. We can see we can make the yellows greener or we can make the yellows oranger. Now, there's gonna be a point where things start to look a little bit fakes. So you're gonna to wanna to back off from that, but you'll notice as I've done this, the trees have lost that intensity, that vibrance or that saturation. So I'm usually gonna accompany this with saturation and increasing the saturation in the yellows and increasing the saturation in the greens to bring back a bit of that color that was lost before. Lastly, we could go to luminance, and again, we could play with the luminances of the yellows to increase it a little bit, and the luminances of the greens to bring those up a little bit. And right off the bat, in the HSL panel, at the top, we have this little light switch. And I can turn this on and off to see the effects of just this panel. So you all can see here's our before, and here's our after, before, 
after. Now again, this isn't gonna make sense if you're not already shooting in and around the fall season. We're trying to accentuate what's there already. We're not trying to fake reality. And again, I can tell you that to my eyes, there was more fall foliage in this image than what I was able to capture with my camera. So here we're able to accentuate that and bring that out for the viewer to see. Now, usually also when I'm in HSL, I accompany this with also playing with the complementary colors in an image. So here I've got a lot of blues. Well, what I would also probably do is reduce the luminance of my blues to bring in a lot of nice detail into the sky. Now you gotta be careful with HSL. I'm gonna zoom in over here just so you all can see. This tree is getting some serious haloing around it. And the reason is, is that tree is where some yellow and warmer regions are meeting the bluer, cooler regions. And because we're taking our yellower regions and we're making them so much brighter, and we're taking our bluer regions and we're making them so much darker, you're very, uh, you run a very high chance of getting some haloing in the shot. And the only way to really reduce this is try playing with the other sliders in and around the colors you're adjusting, meaning I could probably try taking aqua down too, and that might help, that does help reduce that halo a little bit, or you're just not gonna be able to take your blues down as far or whatever complementary color you're bringing down. So I only bring this image up and bring this up because whenever you're adjusting complementary colors in Lightroom, specifically with HSL, if one's going one way and the other's going the other way with hue, saturation, or luminance, you run a very high risk of halos. So definitely zoom in and check that out before you take the photo and post it on Instagram, assuming everything looks good. But immediately again, if I turn on and off that HSL checkbox, you all can see the amazing difference that this image has in it just by adjusting a few sliders and giving us that fall feel. All right, time for our third technique. Now this one is very heavy handed. In fact, it can even take a middle of the summer photo and make it look like middle of the fall but it can also do some unintended things to your images as well. So be careful with it, but it's pretty sweet. I'm gonna go pop in and grab this third shot. And again, I'm gonna go D for develop, and I'm gonna look for the calibration panel in Lightroom. Now calibration was technically built to correct for color casts in a given sensor. Some camera companies just give more reds or more purples than other camera companies. And this is a place you can fix those issues. But it also gives us some very powerful tools for again, changing the colors in our images. Specifically, we're gonna wanna play with the blue sliders and the red sliders. And namely, I'm gonna take the blue hue and drag it left and right. And we can notice that what it does in one way is it adds a lot of green to the image. And in the other way, it makes things look more yellow and orange. We can also play with the saturation of that blue. And then we can also try the reds and see what we can get with that. And I find with a combination of the blue hue and the red hue being adjusted and a little bit of saturation with both, I'm able to turn the foliage in this image from totally green to almost a little bit of a yellow or a red. Now again, proceed with caution. I've said that a few times in this video, we're not trying to fake reality here. What we're trying to do is accentuate the fall foliage that's already there. You can see how many leaves are on the ground. We're trying to accentuate that and bring that up and make that a key element in the picture. Now, you may find that this makes your subject a little bit too saturated by doing these adjustments to the foliage. And if that's the case, feel free to grab the local adjustment tool, use the select subject option. Hopefully it will do a good job here of choosing my subject. I didn't test this ahead of time. Um, but I can see if I mouse over that, did a great job of selecting my subject. And then I can selectively take the saturation down a little bit on my subject. And that gives me more of the look and the feel that I was after. So don't forget that if, if the calibration tool or if HSL is a little bit too heavy handed, you can always select your subject or select the sky or select a region with the paintbrush tool, whatever you're looking for to dial back that adjustment in those specific areas. Now, I really wish you could actually just apply the calibration panel selectively, but maybe we'll get that in a future iteration of Lightroom. Now, again, just to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and hide my masking panel. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna turn on and off the light switch next to calibration. And you all can see here's our before and here's our after. Before, after, before, after. So again, it's changing all of the colors in the image, but that gives it the look and the feel that you might be after as a photographer. 
So hopefully you found these tools helpful. I know for me, as soon as it gets to be that kind of end of August, beginning of September, I start really looking for those fall colors in my images. And these are three great techniques to accentuate or bring about those colors in the photographs that you shoot. So I hope you all found that helpful. If you did, definitely hit that like button. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section down below. And lastly, hit subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when we post future videos. Thanks everybody, and I'll catch you in the next one.